you may recall our project for the master bedroom and ensuite. Now that I announced I'm pregnant last episode, you understand why I've been keen to get this part of the house sorted. Everyone tells me I'll never have as much energy as I have now in the second trimester. For those of you catching up, there was this little linen room for ironing and storing blankets and boxes that hadn't been used in 100 years, and it always made me sad because it has the most beautiful view, but the window is never kept open because one only goes in there to fetch a sheet or it was just sort of used as a storage room. On the other side of the wall is another little room that was Guido's father's office, but as this was never their main residence, it hadn't been used for many years. And I've been using it to edit because, again, it has the loveliest view. So I said to Guido, it seems a shame that these rooms with the best views are not enjoyed by both of us every day. Adjoining these rooms is a formal dining room that was truly never used and ended up just as a storage area for excess furniture. But it's the biggest room in the house. So we decided to make this our master bedroom with an ensuite. Uh, We'll take down the wall in between the linen room and the office and we'll have two doors for the bathroom which is a little unusual but we don't want to block off any of the light that streams through. After cleaning out the linen room back in February, we now set about clearing out the office. These historic photographs will be beautiful, properly framed and hung in the big sitting room, you know the one where I waxed the terracotta floors. Ah no, so si sono up the do the doors of They got it all the way down the stairs and it wouldn't fit through the doorway, so we had to take it apart. Do you remember when this was a junk room? Now it can be a place for coats and a laundry with which Guido, uh, with, with the help of another man, got down here with great, with great struggle. And it seems like I had to take it apart and it was, it's just, I don't know how they, we don't know how they got it upstairs, but it's all coming together. Then we got on to clearing out the coat room, uh, putting paints and all our DIY materials in the workshop that we renovated a little while back. Here, we've been trying to get out every single thing because obviously there's going to be a dust storm that comes when we take down the wall from in those rooms. So uh, we're just getting rid of every little thing. But the problem is then when you clear out one room, you have to decide where it's gonna go. So I don't know if we'll get on to getting the wall actually down today, but hopefully. Don't you know if I show up you? Tissue 
my allergies are going crazy. Yesterday I was just sneezing 20 times in a row. It was just insane. And uh, no, I can't, uh, I can't take anything. We had the doctor prescribed a pill that, um, an antihistamine that uh, pregnant women can take, but antihistamines do nothing on me. When I got tested by the dermatologist, she said my results were off the charts. Nothing, no drugs help. <laughs> so we're just, uh, I'm just trying to have the mask on for this reason. Uh, all of this cupboard we have to sort through because this is going to become our bedroom so we'll clear this out but at the moment we just have to put the crockery in here and seal it off so that it doesn't get more dust than it already has we have my baking stuff all my baking stuff is over here because there's no room in the kitchen so I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like a domino effect. Where you you clear one space and then you have to organize the other, but we don't. Uh, okay. This is super light. Ah. This is an old sewing machine, but we can't find the key. Bor Borletti. Bravissimo. E peso. So we just had a quick lunch of salad, uh, just with lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, olives, uh, marinated anchovies, feta, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, and, uh, and now Guido's gone to see a guy about <laughs> chopping wood for next winter, uh, because even though we're in spring, we have to always be thinking about where we're going to get the wood uh, for winter this year. Uh, so while he's doing that, I'm going to tape all the doors and crevices and any cracks where uh, the, the dust could get through to the other rooms. Uh, because in here is where we're taking the wall down. And so I just want to tape this door because my experience with knocking down anything is there's a lot of dust and Hopefully we can avoid it getting into the other rooms. I mean, I think it, it really has to be hermetically sealed, you know? Uh, Sorry, I haven't, I just was checking some emails. Oh, see. Okay. So while Guido napped, I set about clearing his father's cupboard, which was filled with old records of the farm. First, I had to get them all out of the cupboard and lay them out and sort them into chronological order and categories.
And then I ferried them one armful at a time outside and up to the granary for storage. I try to walk for an hour each day of this pregnancy. I listen to podcasts on neuroscience, philosophy, politics, religion, artificial intelligence, economics, anthropology. I just love it. I've always found such serenity in learning. If I listen to it while sipping my morning tea, I usually take notes, so I truly metabolize the concepts I'm learning. Many of my friends, or Guido, don't love these subjects as much as I do. They'll gladly discuss them, but they don't seem to yearn for them daily as though it were oxygen. But that doesn't matter. I, I love just indulging in it in my solitude. I listen to at least three hours of podcasts a day, but I'm quite discerning or particular when it comes to podcasts. I feel there are so many random, inane people just chatting and recording, but I only really get that euphoric high listening to certified experts who also happen to be highly eloquent. I needn't agree with their views. In fact, I rather enjoy it when I don't. In a given day, I listen once if I wake up early before dawn, then during my hour of exercise, and for one hour in bed before I fall asleep. I disappear into my own world, and I feel my brain pulled and stretched in ways that thrill me. I can't believe how lucky we are today to have free access to intellectual debates of such high quality. Do you ever feel this cerebral stimulation high? There's a swallow that's looking for a nest in our kitchen. Oh, oh poor. How can we, how can we? Ma dobbiamo aprire la finestra, amore. Ah, sì, come è entrato? Ma non lo so, ma le finestre non sono aperte. Ma dove è passato questo mistero? Oh, ma... ah! ah, no, 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 ah, meno male. And I was closing. <laughs> What did you say there? Good luck? Yeah, yeah. If they fly into your house or no, just in general? Just, just in general. Oh. Ci fanno male. No. Another one. Oh no. No. Aspetta, aspetta. Wait. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh no. Wait, little one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ecco. You can go out. Hi. Where is it? Oh no, where is it? Hopefully it went out here. Think. First of all, I throw down. So, as you might do, naturally. So, the next one is feeding in the city of the American, you can find a whole much more. Sit, sit, sit. Give me pass you with that, with that, 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 Pasta? Eh certo, pasta non ti fai male. Ok. Oh. So sta, go from here. I just didn't want to blow it on my head. E ci vedete, guarda. Ok. Sì, io non posso battere se no ti fa la doccia lì. You, you do what you want to do. Ma guarda, ti fai male, così non...
For lunch, I made chickpea hummus with asparagus sautéed with garlic and lemon, grilled capsicum or bell pepper, raw carrots and cucumber, and some boiled eggs. The great thing about Guido is that although he has a big appetite and can be quite greedy, he really loves vegetables and this dish always fills him up without needing bread or pasta. You can find the recipe on my site and a whole video on my homemade hummus which I'll link in the top right hand corner. It was painted? Yeah. So when we did it? Mm -hmm. What is it like? It's like a leaf. to hit on this side. Okay. Now let's Oppure è molto secondo me o probabilmente inevitabile fare casino da tutte le parti. Probabilmente just being right. Andiamo di là. We did check with the surveyor, but she said it wasn't enough room for the bed. So the plan is to put a bathtub along the wall so you can look out the windows, a shower so you're not showering right in view of anyone in the garden, a double sink in between the two windows, and a toilet and bidet so that we can still walk right up to the windows to open them. Wow. 
It's beautiful, no? Yeah. Uh. For dinner that night, I made a sauce of chili, garlic, tomatoes, olives, white wine, cooking out the alcohol, and leftover fish that I'd roasted in the oven the night before and I mixed it with whole wheat gluten-free pasta. Look at this. Ah, there's so much light that it's <laughs> crazy overexposed but I wanted to show you just that lovely green coming through both of the windows um, but really it's just like this it's just so airy and spacious and beautiful meanwhile the horses have been working too all these brown parts are where they've eaten the grass and weeds. Someone asked why we didn't get goats to keep the grass down, but they crawl up the olive trees and eat the olives. And I promised you we'd share whether we're having a boy or a girl. I just realized by accident we're both wearing blue, but that's not, that's not a hint, it's just happened randomly. Yeah, it's no? appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we found out a long time ago uh, on one of the first ultrasounds, no? Yeah, it's at least a month, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And... Uh, I wasn't sure. They weren't sure. Yeah. And then we did the NIPS test and then this, so that it's super yeah. certain. And, and so... So, it's... Eh? <laughs> a musket. A musket. <laughs> And, uh, and we're really, I don't know, I, I suppose we didn't, I didn't film a, a gender reveal or, or anything, our reaction, because I suppose when it's your first child, you're just so damn happy that it's healthy and that you have the, the privilege of, of, of having a child, no? Yeah, and then it's not if it was a female, we were like, oh, yeah, no, exactly. whatever, like, no. But, but Guido is quite happy because he says, oh, it's good if we have lots of children that the, the, the eldest is a, is a boy and he can protect the girl when yeah. she starts dating. <laughs> and then he has an older niece, so... Come on, older niece. Sorry, older cousin. Come Titi. Ah, si, exactly. So he won't be just a male that sometimes are a bit out of the world, <laughs> but he will have an older cousin that yeah. maybe will help him to be smarter yes yes uh and then in terms of the names if you guys have any suggestions uh we we really don't have much idea we've been looking at some family some names in guido's family but uh basically uh, as the child will be raised in tuscany uh, we want it to be an italian name and uh do you have any prerequisites it's a nice name you you wanted something that sound you said you wanted like that sounds like a with a bit of weight, no? A solid name. A solid name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have any ideas for uh, male names, we will definitely, we, we, we literally, some people have a list or some girls particularly when they're growing up, they have this, their idea of their favorite names. I, I don't have any, <laughs> any ideas at all. I'm just so, so happy that our baby is healthy. And, uh, and thank you so much for all of your incredible support i really didn't expect it i was yeah, everybody was very kind and supportive yeah. but in, in unbelievably kind and i particularly felt so nervous i mean it's not 
I know it's normal, it happens in the real world as well, but um, just people analyzing your body and what's changed and what parts of you have, are, are different. And, and so I was quite nervous about putting out last week's video and, and you all just made it, me feel so comfortable and so excited and, and, uh, and supported. And, and so, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we have to go and clean up the mess that we made with yeah. <laughs> knocking down the wall. Yeah, and electricians and all the rest. So yeah, we're, we've got so many, <laughs> so many projects going on now that I will show you next week uh, that are happening right now in the house. So we have to run. But thank you so much. Uh, please do subscribe and click the little bell so you know when I post. And, uh, and thank you, as always, to, uh, to those who support me on Patreon. Have a beautiful weekend. A la próxima. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> okay.